Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd As Muslims were ordered to be one community to unite upon Tawheed, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, the earliest of generations, they didn't have to worry as much about tafarraq, about splitting. But during the time of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, there were some groups like the Qadariya. There was, even during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there was the... Uh, the leader or the, the, the one who was the the, the Khawarij became were the progeny of, of Vul Khuwaisara and that was during the time of the Prophet وسلم, letting us know that there were the elements were there but later after the time of the Prophet وسلم, is when we had to worry about divisions as more and more people entered the fold of Islam from various nations that came with new innovations, didn't understand the Arabic language, and had many other issues which opened the door for religious innovation. And now, we've reached a time where there is an abundance of bid'ah, an abundance of mukhalifat, of those things which differ and differing between the people. And the Prophet ﷺ foresaw this in prophetic in a prophetic tradition. He prophesied alayhi salatu wasalam that the Ummah would break and divide into groups and sects. The Prophet ﷺ said If Tarakatil Yahud Ala Itta was Sabain Firqa وَإِفْتَرَكَتِ النَّصَارَ عَلَىٰ إِثْنَتَيْنِ وَسَبَعِينَ فِرْقَةِ وَسَتَفْتَرِكُوا هَذِهِ أُمَّةِ عَلَىٰ ثَلَاثَ وَسَبَعِينَ فِرْقَةِ كُلُّهَا فِي النَّارِ إِلَّا وَاحِدًا قَالُوا مَنْ هِيَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَالَ مَنْ كَانَ عَلَى مِثْلِي وَمَا كَانَ عَلَيْهِ وَأَسْحَابِي الْيَوْمِ وَكَمَا قَالَ نَبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم prophesied عليه الصلاة والسلام that we would break into sects. He said the Jews would break into 71 sects. And the Christians would break into 72 sects. And my ummah, my nation, will break into 73 sects all of them in the hellfire except one and then the, the Sahaba they asked who are they Ya Messenger of Allah and the Prophet وسلم, said those who are upon what I'm upon and what my Sahaba are upon Meaning that's the saved sect. That's the firqa to Najia. That's the group that is saved because there are many sects. But one of them will be saved as the Prophet wasallam said. He said, Kulluhum finnar. All of them in the fire except one. Alayhi salatu wasalam. And that one is Ahl Sunnah. That's why the Muslims we have to unite upon the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Avoiding religious bid'ah, religious innovation and heresy. And we should also have hope that even when we see so much bid'ah and so many things, sometimes you go, you go to particular lands or particular areas and particular cities and countries and what have you, and you sometimes you see that the sunnah is so rare. It, 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 you almost want to give hope. Your heart hurts. That you feel like, subhanAllah, even some small things, you seem, it seems like everyone is from a Khan Muslimin, perhaps. Everyone is into politics, but they're not into religious... Uh, in purifying themselves and practicing. Everyone is into this and that, but yet they take uh, riba. Riba becomes lawful in that community or what have you. 
So you feel as if the sunnah is so abandoned. It's not like sunnah mustahab, those things which are extra are being abandoned, but the, some of the asl of the asul ad-deen, the basics of the religion is being abandoned by the people. And that makes you feel sad. And it makes you feel strange as you're trying to practice. And may Allah forgive us all of our shortcomings. But we should have hope because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another narration, he said, لا تزل طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين الحق حتى يأتيهم عمر الله وهم على ذلك أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said There won't cease to be a group from my nation that is on the truth. No one will harm them who tries to deceive them or differ with them until the command of Allah, meaning until Yom Al-Qiyamah, meaning up until that time. So in the last times, there will be those people, there will be people, there will be a, a spread of ignorance. But up until that time, there will be an abundance of, of, of things. There will be an abundance, there will be people on the son of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that gives us hope. That gives us hope not to give up. That even in the last days when there will be people, there will be so much ignorance widespread and the worst of people will exist up until that time. That will be one of the signs of the Day of Judgment. That will be one of the last up until the last hour is established. So up until that time, there will always be a victorious group. Meaning Ahl Sunnah will be, will be there. So never give up hope. And Ahl Sunnah is not restrained by a particular race, a particular language, a particular people. But you'll find Ahl Sunnah, those people following the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Indonesia. You'll find them in Saudi Arabia. You'll find them in Japan. You'll find them in Yugoslavia. You'll find them in Chechnya. You'll find them in America, you'll find them in the UK, you'll find them in Canada, you'll find them in Alaska, perhaps. You'll find them all over the world because they're united based upon Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah and to be of those who follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa Sallallahu Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi Wasallam.